We're going to change the oil in this gearbox on this John Deere Auto Connect. This is a 60 inch 60D. There's no drain plug on this gearbox. Here's our field plug, 5 16 hex wrench. We can jack the entire deck up the way I'm going here and drain it. Or we can use the floaty vac system. We can pull it out with vacuum and just shoot some more back in. This gearbox doesn't hold much at all. It may only hold as little as six ounces, no more than eight. Just gonna back off to show you the apparatus. I just opened this quart, it's 32 ounces. We'll try to get an idea of how many ounces the gearbox takes. It's certainly not very much. In the owner's manual on this particular deck, when you do service the gearbox, they wanted the oil changed in it every 500 hours. To me, that seems like a lot. But their method of doing it is unbolting it here and in the back, tipping it on its side after you loosen the belt and draining it out that way. I'm going to see if it settles down any. I'm putting in 7590 because that's what I had. It is good gear oil, but I think I'm going to go a little bit heavier. That box, I felt it in the summer in July and August when it's in the 90s and you've been mowing for two to three hours. It gets very hot. I'm gonna shoot it with a temp gun, get a better idea. But anyway, as long as that oil doesn't leak in any of the seals, the oil's gonna be okay because it's it's good stuff. Severe gear from Amsoils, it's definitely top tier gear oil. When I set it on level concrete, I'm right at 26 ounces. So we got six ounces in it. That's not a lot of lube oil, is it? I think it's a well-made gearbox. Every time I've evac the oil out of it, and I've done it a few times, there's never no metallic shavings, never any even, it doesn't even look close to having any metal in the oil. So that tells me it is put together pretty good. And it better be. That box is doing a lot of work. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. I uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe.